What do brushing your teeth, baking cookies, laundry soap, animal food, and your car's windshield have in common? They all have a similar ingredient, Trona. Hello adventurers, today we are traveling to Southwest Wyoming to learn about Trona, an amazing mineral with many uses. Trona is one of Wyoming's wonderful natural minerals that is mined and processed into soda ash and bicarbonate of soda. Trona is an ore that's found underground largely in the southwest corner of Wyoming and it was originally discovered in around 1938 when they were doing oil and gas explorations. And at that time, around 1,500 feet, there's a number of bands uh, that are underneath us now that have this Trona ore. What it looks like, it's really a yellowish brown rock. And this is just a picture of one that's been really rounded out based on it rolling around in some screens. But you can see it's not an, an attractive rock. Uh, it's a very yellow, pale, and kind of heavy, heavy rock. If you were to take this rock and then polish it, it looks similar to this. The, the mines are located in, in southwest Wyoming in Sweetwater County, and you can see them from the interstate. Uh, and as you're driving by off in the distance, what you will see is what's on top. And that's usually a facility where the Trona, which is mined underground, is brought up to the surface and um, the rock is processed into uh, natural soda ash, which is basically a baking powder. Uh, uh, baking soda is what is is the best way I could compare it. So what you'll see from the interstate is you'll see a big facility with large stacks uh, producing steam because in those facilities is where the rock is crushed up, where it's dried, and where it's turned into a, a very fine powder known as soda ash. Citrona is mined um, underground and it's done uh, uh, in a couple of different ways. Uh, there are great big mining machines that are taken underground and uh, I, I, the, the difference between the mining machines, you have what's called a, a bore miner, which is basically a big drill that just goes and just drills into the rock and chips it out of the wall, pushes it back into a skiff, and then it's conveyored to the surface for processing. Um, there are miners that are like big drums with big teeth on them that just roll and cut into the rock and again, kick it back to a skiff where it's put on a conveyor belt and moved to the surface for processing. And then there's also what's known as long wall mining. And this is a great big machine that's put in and it's uh, uh, several yards long, 30 yards long, 40 yards long, yards long, maybe even longer. And it's a great big blade that just goes along the rock face, turning and chipping off the rock, knocking it onto a conveyor belt. And again, then it's moved to the surface for processing. Uh, the equipment is huge. The equipment is uh, uh, very powerful, very fun to watch and uh, it basically just cuts the rock out of the ground and moves it to the surface. Once the trona is brought up, it's crushed uh, uh, up, in a, up in the facility that you see from the road. It's crushed down and then it goes through several chemical processes uh, to where fluid is added to it. Uh, it's dried and basically it is processed through a very uh, uh, sophisticated process into very fine powder known as natural soda ash. Soda ash, product derived from Trona, is the number one exported product in Wyoming. It is hauled on trains away from Wyoming and often on ships to countries all over the globe. The Wyoming Trona industry pumps millions upon millions of dollars into the state of Wyoming annually. This money is used to fund schools like yours. It's used to repair roads and fund infrastructure and other functions of government from which we benefit daily. From engineers, environmentalists, to accountants and equipment operators, data analysts to geologists, jobs related to the Trona industry are vast and bountiful. A variety of opportunities are available for engineers in the Trona industry. Chemical engineers are needed for the product's chemical process, while civil engineers help run the project. Miners are equipped with a unique set of skills ranging from running equipment to preparing for and cleaning up after each section is mined. They are at the heart and soul of Trona production. Accountants ensure the business is being handled as it should and can offer an accurate account of the current financial state. Data analysts consider all of the data points related to Trona and soda ash production. Their job requires attention to detail and a love for numbers. 
The caretakers of the land play a pivotal role in ensuring the mined land is returned the way it was found. As Wyoming citizens, we are entrusted with the responsible development, care, and use of our resources to benefit current and future generations. Those in the Trona industry practice stewardship every day. Uh, one of my roles here is the Environmental Health, Safety, Sustainability, and Government Affairs Manager is managing sustainability. Sustainability is all about protecting the environment for future generations to come by minimizing the impact that we have on the environment for future generations. We manage our, our gases that we put out with regards to our combustion of coal, uh, particulate monitoring, whether we're dusting out, we maintain all that areas. We also maintain and ensure that the waters of the United States, specifically the Blacksburg and Sweetwater uh, rivers, maintain their cleanliness such that we can support the life downstream in the Colorado. So we manage everything on our plant and we're inspected yearly with regards to the land quality, air quality, and water quality divisions of the state of Wyoming to ensure that we are being the best stewards as possible for not only this area, but also for the United States and uh, future generations such as yourself. It's one of the reasons why we exist as a state. Um, back when Wyoming was uh, uh, being considered for statehood, our delegate to the United States Congress at the time was Joseph Carey. And he said one of the reasons why Wyoming should be a state is because of our unsurpassed mineral resources. So we not only have natural soda ash from Trona in the ground, we have other things. We're the nation's leading producer of coal. Uh, we produce uh, hundreds of millions of tons of coal a year. Uh, we produce uranium. Uh, we produce a, a mineral called bentonite in the northern part of the state, which is like a very uh, a unique clay that's used in everything from uh, uh, drilling products in the oil field uh, to cosmetics to, uh, to the clumping component in your cat litter box. So we've got a lot of stuff in the ground and uh, Wyoming is very, very dependent on our mineral resources. Wow, I'm amazed by all we learned about the Trona industry today. What a remarkable Wyoming mineral. It's incredible to think that each time someone looks out the window, drinks from a glass or glass bottle, brushes their teeth and puts on makeup or eats cookies, donuts, or a sandwich, they are experiencing the benefits of Wyoming Trona. I can't wait until the next time I'm in southwestern Wyoming so I can take a visit to one of Wyoming's amazing Trona mines.